the Commission will not tolerate violation of the Electoral Code of Conduct. A talking tough Ezra Chiloba. His immediate assignment will be to deliver smooth by-elections in Kajado Central and Homabay County. And Chiloba says IEBC will not tolerate misconduct during the exercise. The IEBC calls upon all parties to conduct their campaigns in a peaceful manner. We have come a long way since 2007-2008 and we cannot afford to go back that path. He comes to office with a full entry, repackaging, reshaping, bringing credibility and electoral reforms to an institution dogged with a myriad of problems. Latest, the chicken scandal. Kenya's electoral body has been on the receiving end from the opposition code over the manner it handled the 2013 general election. Chiloba and his team will have a huge task of gaining the trust across the political divide. I very much understand the enormity of the task ahead and I'm confident that together as a nation we will succeed. We are going to employ also the deputy CEO of the Commission, Support Services. We are also going to be employing Director of Finance and Procurement, uh, Director of ICT. But the recruitment of the new deputy CEO, Support Services, is facing legal hurdles. Late last year, the court ordered Wilson Cholet reinstated pending the conclusion of a corruption case against him. Judge Moreno Nyango have declined to restrain IABC from recruiting any other person for the position. We have agreed to comply first and foremost with the court order and put him back on the payroll. But we shall appeal the court order because uh, it does not make sense to have two deputy CEOs on the payrolls. And so, as of now, I want to make this very clear. The commissioners and ourselves have all discussed and agreed we will first comply with the court order, put him back on the payroll, and but continue to recruit our deputy CEO. The now infamous chicken scandal has dented the name and the image of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. It is on this backdrop that the new CEO believes that restructuring the technical team will reverse the picture. Enoxicolia, NTV, in the county of Nairobi.